Hey guys, welcome back to SFDC Ninja. In today's video, we'll be tackling another exciting trigger scenario. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right into it. Before we start with the coding part, let's take a moment to understand today's scenario. In this scenario, we have a custom lookup field client contact on account object. And this scenario consists of two tasks. First, on insertion of account record, we need to insert a related contact on that account. And that contact will be the client contact of account. I mean, we need to populate that contact in client contact lookup field. So this is our today's scenario. It's time to code. So let's switch to VS Code and create our handler class. Let's name it TRG handler class. Let's create our method public static void trg method so guys we need to insert a related contact on account object whenever it is inserted so basically change is happening on account object that's why we will take a list of account as argument list of account and in this list we will pass trigger.new from our trigger so basically this list is equals to trigger.new so let's apply a null check on this list load is empty iterate over it and now we will create a related contact for this account basically this list contains the account which is being inserted let's say we are inserting abc account then that abc account will come in this list and now we will create a related contact for this account contact konobj New contact Kono BJ dot last name. Let's say test con plus account name and its account ID will be equals to ID of this account. Now to bulkify our code, we will create a list of contact which holds the contact we are inserting. So let's create a list of contact list of contact your list copy its name and add this contact in this list let's apply a null check on this list is empty and insert it So our first task of creating a related contact on insertion of account has completed. Next we need to update the client contact field with the contact we just created. To do this we first create a set to store account id. So let's create a set here. CC id is new set id and copy its name, paste it here and add account ids in this set. Dot ID. Now we have the ID of account which is being inserted in our set. So we are going to use this set to fetch fields of account. So let's apply a null check on this set. Dot is empty. And let's use soccer to fetch account field. List of account. Select ID. Comma. Client contact from account where id in our set so copy our set name and paste it here now what we will do we will create a map to hold the account id and corresponding account object retrieved from this query so for that let's create a map first here id count new map now let's apply a null check on this list, copy its name, dot is empty. Iterate over it, count and let's put value in our map. So copy our map name, dot put acc obj dot id obj basically 
this map will be used to update client contact field by the inserted contact see the flow is first this set is created to store the id of account which is being inserted and when a new contact is created for account its account id is added to the set after the contacts are inserted this query is executed to fetch the accounts with id in a set and after that this map is created to store the id and its corresponding account now let's apply a null check on our contact list so this is our contact list copy its name apply a null check dot is empty and iterate over it and this list has the contact which we need to show in client contact field of account but before that let's check that if the account id of related contact matches the account id in our map for that we will apply a check like this if acc map dot contains key on dot account id and if account id is matched then what we will do we will update the client contact field of account with this contact so let's you see cmap dot get on dot account id and update its field by this contact now to bulkify our code we will not do dml operation in for loop so let's create another list count list to update copy its name add this account in this list apply null check and update it save it and deploy it to org okay it is showing error line 15 okay there is an extra c again deploy it now it is successfully deployed so we have our handler class ready now let's create our trigger name it this is it tr our trigger will be on account object here we need to use after insert why because first we should insert a related contact and then we need to add that related contact in client contact field and for all these things will be needing account id and for account id the account has to be inserted in database then only we'll be able to get account id that's why we need to use after insert here so let's use after here and here we will call our handler class method so copy its name paste it here dot method name and here we will pass trigger dot new save it and deploy it to work okay it is successfully deployed it's time to test our trigger so let's go to our org and let's insert an account click on new let's name it client account and save it so guys a related contact has been created and now if our trigger is working fine then this contact should be also present in client contact field so let's go to details see this contact has also populated in client contact field which means our trigger is working fine so that's it for today guys and i'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios thank you